So, Paul, tell me what you've got in your room. What's that? What is that plan? Well, this is a euphorbia. Fedigated leaves. Nice, bright, green flowers. Very toxic sap. White sap. Like a milky sap when you cut into it. Avoid eye contact at all costs. Really does sting. Make, just make sure you wash your hands wearing gloves beforehand. It's evergreen. Gives you structure all year. Once the flowers start to fade, you want to take them flowers away more or less immediately. Don't let the dead or dying flowers, spent flowers, spend any time on the plant. Once you take the flowers off, just encourage all that nice foliage to come back up, which is basically what we've got the plant for. So where are the plant in my garden? You know my garden, it's got a it's south facing garden, where would you pause that? It'll tolerate semi-shade, not a lot of shade. As long as you've got six hours daylight on it, it don't have this, even have to be direct sunlight. Six hours daylight per day, and it'll grow quite happily. And if I've got a six foot area to fill by a foot depth, how many would I want in one section with plant? Well, I'd plant this. When you're planting shrubs or perennials, if you don't want it clumping up, if you're not after a cottage garden appearance, from the elbow to your fist apart, and then you can appreciate each individual plant. They'll not grow into each other, they'll not get overcrowded.